Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man Miles Morales video. And today, what I got for you guys here is another news roundup. We got a heap of new gameplay, another Daily Bugle Now article, and maybe our first look at a major villain that'll show up in this game. Before we get into it, though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And also, if you're new here and you're looking forward to Spider-Man Miles Morales, I got you covered. I've been making videos and will continue to be making videos on all the news, updates, trailers, gameplay, my reactions, my inevitable let's play when the game does launch, and even my coverage on Spider-Man Remastered. If you want to stay up to date on those games, then if you'd like, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live and with all that being said let's jump into this okay so the first thing that i wanted to go over is the latest daily bugle now article we got this one earlier today and with it we also got some brand new free roam gameplay from the instagram post that came from insomniac games before we do get to the gameplay i want to really quick read for you the actual article itself and the caption to the tweet when this was put out earlier said daily bugle now spotted the quirks and qualities that make the new spider-man of marvel's new york unique See for yourself in the newest story. And the first page of the story, which has an awesome new screenshot of Miles, says crime, a new kind of spider. With two Spider-Men swing through the city, you'd think it'd be hard to tell them apart. But as the new hero continues with his mentor, the differences are striking. Our original Spider-Man swings with the grace and control expected of a seasoned hero, but his new partner swings with a youthful excitement. It shows itself in the way he wildly launches off of landmarks and careens through the city. The next page continues with some more new screenshots of Miles, which I wish we got in HD so that we could see them in full, but it continues to say, Witnesses to battles between this new Spider-Man and common crooks notice a dynamic energy that he hasn't quite mastered. They claim he puts an incredible amount of effort into his fights, whether he's webbing the bad guys or dodging their punches. Then on the last page, it's mentioned here, after watching our original Spider-Man grow into the web slinger he is today, we expected the new guy to follow perfectly in his partner's footsteps. But he's shown us there's no playbook for heroes honing their skills. Some citizens still aren't used to the idea of two Spider-Men, but we shouldn't put a limit on how many mass defenders our city needs, especially with the ever-increasing presence of the underground. Keep it up, new Spider-Man, we're all watching to see what you'll do next. And then over on the Instagram page for Insomniac Games, you can see a video clip for this Daily Bugle Now article that showcases Miles taking a couple of swings, doing some free roaming, and it looks incredible. I can't wait to get my hands on the game and to be able to discover all the different animations that Miles has unique to Peter's, and just compile a bunch of free roam footage to showcase for you guys. Next up though, I wanted to talk about something else that actually comes from Insomniac Games' Twitter account. Just yesterday, they detailed a bunch of trophies that you're going to be able to get within Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, considering that Insomniac themselves posted this, I'd like to imagine that it isn't considered a spoiler, but if you want to go into this game knowing as little as possible, then minor spoilers ahead. The long Twitter thread starts as follows. Do you like trophies? We do. Check out this partial list of trophies you can expect in Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Up first, we got the gold trophy. Be yourself. Collect all other trophies. This is the one you're going to get when you kind of complete everything. Then we got one that says just the beginning unlock all skills then there's a new home which is to 100% complete all the districts then a bunch of silver trophies we got urban explorer which is to collect all the time capsules this is going to be one of the many collectibles in the game memory lane which is to collect all the postcards salvager open all underground caches under their noses shut down all rocks on labs underground undone shut down all underground hideouts ready for anything which is to purchase all suits and i don't think that means what you think it means it's probably with the in-game tokens just like the first game never saw it coming complete an enemy base without being detected 100 times combo which is to perform a 100 times combo pete's first villain which is to complete the final test then there's kit bash which is to craft 10 upgrades now that trophy known as pete's first villain is an interesting one that's caused a bit of speculation but i think in the description of it that has something to do with the combat 
combat challenges that Peter leaves for you within the city. I guess we'll have to wait and see what exactly the title of that trophy is referring to when we get our hands on the game. Continuing on though, we got Rhino Rodeo, which is to ride Rhino through the mall. Then we got Hanging by a Thread, which is to keep the bridge together. Overcharge, defeat 100 enemies with Venom attacks. Up and Over, which is to perform a Venom jump, then a Venom dash on a single enemy. From Downtown, use a Venom dash to throw an enemy into a group of three or more. Like a Rhino in a China shop, smash into 15 breakable objects while steering Rhino through the shopping mall. That one sounds like a lot of fun. JJJ would be proud. Apply a sticker and customize lighting while in photo mode. I'm definitely getting that trophy. Five star review. Complete all FNSM app requests, which is friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. Mod that suit. Craft a suit mod. Look with better eyes. Craft a visor mod. Never give up, which has you paying respects to Jefferson Davis's grave in Harlem. A gift from Pete is when you receive the gift suit from Peter. Crime master. Complete both bonus objectives for every crime type, getting dizzy, chain six unique air tricks before landing. And then lastly, I'm on a boat, which is to ride the derelict boat in Southern Chinatown and socially acceptable, which is to scroll through the entire social feed at the end of the story. For the most part, these trophies sound like pretty straightforward stuff, nothing too crazy. The only one that caught a lot of people's eye was the one that had the Pete's first villain title. Either way, I'm looking forward to going trophy hunting for this game. I have only hunted 100%ed a very small amount of games in terms of unlocking all the trophies or achievements, and Spider-Man PS4 is one of those few games. Definitely looking to add Miles Morales as well as Spider-Man Remastered to that list. Let's shift gears though back to some more gameplay. We got another new look at the Rhino chase sequence and a brand new cutscene that involves J. Jonah Jameson, of course once again coming from Game Informer and their exclusive coverage. Before I show these clips, I do want to make the statement once again, if this is something that you want to go into blind. If you do not want to see any more additional gameplay from that Rhino Chase sequence, well then minor spoilers ahead. So if you want to leave now, you have your opportunity. And if you're not going to leave, well then check this out. He's a menace. Yeah, too soft. He's a low energy menace. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak minded. Oh. Hey Jonah, looking good. Very fast. Menace. A feckless. Treacherous, unhinged, menace, terror! Yeah. Right here! Yeah. Been kind of uh, an adventure. Are you running? Yeah, uh, sorry. Trying to catch a train. Wait, amigo. No seas mentido. Grab the milk and hurry home, please. There's just no doubting that Darren DePaul was born to do the voice of J. Jonah Jameson. He absolutely crushes it. I'm getting increasingly more excited about some more Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, assuming that they will be in the new game, which I think is a safe bet. I can't wait to hear what JJ has to say about there being not one, but two Spider-Men now. Moving on though, the next piece of news is a doozy. We may have our first look at the Prowler in Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales. So over on Twitter, a user by the name the underscore LBG, who is a QA analyst working at Respawn, previously working at Insomniac Games for Spider-Man Miles Morales, posted some artwork that was being created for the game officially at Venice Beach. The keyword there is officially. This was somebody who was hired to create this. And you're seeing it on screen right now. You may not notice anything at first, but when I zoom in and you look closely on the character that's on the far right next to the Tinkerer, that has got to be the Prowler. And while breaking news as of the recording of the video, it is the Prowler, and we get a look at the design officially through one of the amazing Spider-Man comic variant covers for Miles Morales. Considering this was put out officially by Insomniac, I don't consider this much of a spoiler, and to be honest, come on, we all knew the Prowler was going to be in the game. Factoring in the artwork that's being done at Venice Beach, and as well this variant cover for the amazing Spider-Man, I think a new trailer that's actually going to showcase the Prowler is imminent. And if we're not going to get a trailer of that sort, well, then I'm super hyped to see the character in the game.
in just a few short weeks. The design from what we can tell based on the first look is super badass. And with all that being said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. First of all, what do you think about the brand new gameplay that we got? Whether it's from the Daily Bugle Now article or Game Informer. I also want to know what you guys think about the trophies for the game as well as what you think about the Prowler's first look for Spider-Man Miles Morales. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.